Firepower Threat Defense, Copy Policies, and Rollback. This is going to be a nice quick video, but there's some power here that I think I should share. So we've got an access policy and maybe we've got it deployed in a certain area and we want to make some modifications for a new area. So we can come in here very quickly, copy the policy, give it a name, and it'll copy everything in that policy itself. So let's go ahead and have a quick peek here. We'll go ahead and hit edit and check it out. There's all the configuration that came from that initial policy. We can make our tweaks, apply it to our devices, and push that policy out. Now, I'm going to delete this because I don't need it, but that's how quick it is. So again, another uh, nice operational enhancement that people may not be aware of. The other one is rollback, so deployment history. We've got a whole bunch of deployment jobs here. If we want to roll back for whatever reason, now, it's easier just to uh, maybe modify the config in a lot of cases, not always. Here we can see what's added and removed. We can go ahead and pick a date, review or preview just like we just did, and go ahead and click that rollback. Gives us a warning to say, you know what, rollbacks are probably not ideal. Um, if you uh, can't modify the policy um, based on the needs, then, then rollback is necessary evil, right? Um, so a good opportunity to roll back when needed. Dusk mode, you can see I'm in dusk mode. It's, it's uh, in beta currently. Um, if you have an opportunity to leverage it based on the version, uh, give it a try. Here I wanna check auditing and you can see that rollback initiated on that device. So that's it. You've got copy policies to help accelerate your operational tasks when modifying policies in many different locations and or use cases. And you've got the ability to roll back if you have some uh, policy outcomes that weren't desired and you can't make the change easy enough.